carry on with IALib. Okay, so source forge package. So, set command to fix a problem. Oops. Uh, oh, it would help if we were in the source directory. For, oh, I see. The file name we download is not quite the same as the um, source directory that was extracted. So just copy this configure and make. And then we can make install. And we can tidy up. So now we've got SDL, we've installed everything else that it needs. Let's download it. And extract it. Is it in capitals? Yes. So have we got any extra stuff here? Right, I don't think we want to enable or, or disable anything else, so we'll just take the standard options I've specified there for compiling. Uh, right, okay, so now we can install It's okay. And it says to test. Let's come out of root. If you wish to, test installation of SDL using the included test program is not required to install any of the result in binaries to validate installation. Issue the following commands to build the test programs. Oops. So let's do that. Um, does it say what the programs are? No, let's have a look. Oh, there's quite a few there. Now, I haven't actually got a set of speakers in the PC. Um, so, what I should do... Um, I'm just going to remove my headphones to test the sound and um, then maybe another time I can actually demonstrate the sound, plug some speakers in and demonstrate the sound. So I'll just put myself on mute. Okay, so yes, that loop wave gave me a little riff with the guitar with the sound to it. So the sound is definitely working. Um, and SDL is obviously working as well, so that can now be tidied up. Uh, is there something else? So now we've. 
like we need to install. We've got libjpeg turbo, png tiff, sdl, gif lib. Okay, so it's just free like we need, which is obviously needed by something else. Right now, I've got TIFF to reinstall. Uh, yeah, after optional packages. So, right, and that needs libwebp. So it looks like there's a circular dependency. So libwebp's got a recommendation of libtiff, but libtiff's only got an optional for. Lib web piece. It looks like we should install libwebp first and then come back to libtiff. Yeah. So let's do free glut. What is the sound forge one? Like either the website's down or my internet has stopped working. Right, it's come up. Okay, so let's extract this. Um just realised I haven't made a note of SDL and AA lib and slang. Right, so slang's on thirteen. on 13. AOLib is 10. And SDL is in 42. SDL. Okay, back to free glut. So CD free glut. Disable optional demo programs. Okay, so it's not recommended to install them. And we're not installing the static library. So we can just couple of this. That's quick. Make install. And that's done. So libwebp has got libtiff recommended. Yeah, I think I'll yeah um, install libtiff next because it's a recommended package for libwebp, whereas libwebp is only an optional package for libtiff, um, and we didn't have free glut before because we just installed that. So let's grab this one. 
oh sorry we've already got it of course because it's a rebuild so tiff Let's see what the configuration says. We might need to reinstall it again after libwebp. Um, right, yes, I would have to because it's found that it's not installed. This is the thing with some packages, they need to be reinstalled because you might want to build in functionality. So this is not a runtime thing with the looks of it it's not going to build any external support uh, sorry any support for these external um, codecs, codecs so we will have to reinstall it unfortunately but it looks like it won't take too long to build so ninja test that's passed sudo minus e Ninja install. It's done. So let's reinstall TIFF once. Let's go to WebP. So I'll put this one back where it was. And download this. Okay, there's no extra configuration commands to select there. So let's configure it and build it. No test suite. So I'll just install it and clear up. Do free grab did I again? Graphics libraries. Didn't mark this one off. All right, it's the next library free grab twenty five. Free grab, and we've just done. LibWebP which I assumes also no it's in ten LibWebP and so now let's build TIFF for the final time And I'll do this config separately again so we can confirm that um, WebP is now being built in or at least it will know about it. And yes, it is true. So that's good. Let's rebuild this. And test again. And sudo minus e ninja install. That's done. So I'll mark that off my list as being complete now. Uh, what else there? Save that. So there's another one off the rebuild list, although I've added a few more today. And now I've got this lib croco. So link has okay. So we can enable GTK doc documentation 
because we have the facility to do that. Okay, and we can now build it. And test it. Now it does say some will fail. Um, yeah, it looks like some have, so it's probably a bit pointless really. So let's just install. Uh, make install the package. That's okay. So it's libcroco. So now librsvg. So this needs GDK pix buff. So that's one we've got back here for something else. And this needs glib. We've got lead, we've done libjpg, libpng. Let's have a look at shared mime info. Yeah, we've done that one. The looks of it. It recommends libr svg but it's a runtime dependency so that's good we don't need it to build it libtiff we're done xor we're done gobject introspection i am going to attempt to build gnome i haven't built it for many years but um, i'm going to have a go at building it we need jasper as an optional package so let's move that down here this needs cmake lib jpeg turbo we've got free glut we've installed and text live. Okay, so let's download this one. Skip install our path, it's optional removes embedded library search paths. Disables rebuilding of a dock. Okay, so let's build build directory and we'll adjust this configure to build documentation. As we've got the text live now installed. Well, version C make may be buggy. Mm. Let's see. Make and build it. And make test. We've got 100% test, so that's good. And we can now make install. And that's complete. Okay, GDK picks buffs. So we've got GLib, JPEG Turbo, PNG, Shed Mime. That's a runtime dependency, so we don't need it. Libtiff, Xorg, Gobject, Chatspot, it's all done. Right, so I need to mark off Jasper. Uh, Jasper. Alright, so we can do the build again, and for the meson command, again we've got a um, 
option to build the documents and also we've built Jasper so we can add in this switch here and not forgetting the dots for the parent directory and now we can build it with Ninja Okay, and now we can test it. It says makes heavy use of the disk. So if you've got an old mechanical disk, it will take a lot longer than if you run it on a modern SD disk. Okay, well that was pretty quick anyway, so maybe there's not too many tests then. Ninja install. So if you're installing using the Dester method, uh, you need to run this command. Um, you'd know if you're doing that. So that's that package done. Okay. GDK picks buff. That's in chapter 25. Buff. So we've finished with that one, now we can do lib r svg. We've got all the dependencies fulfilled for this one. Valor installed, although we've got it to be reinstalled, but it should work. So we're stacking it. We've got Gobject Introspection, so we don't need that disable Introspection switch, but we've got GTK Docs, so we can build the documentation again. So that's good, it's found everything and we can now build it
Right, so that's done. We can test now. It does say that 100 tests will fail, so I'll bear that in mind. Okay, yeah, there's, there's more than 50% failures, so maybe it's a bit of a pointless exercise testing. Um, especially the reason they've given there in the book as to why they fail. But anyway, let's uh, install the package. With the correct password. And that's that package installed. So lib R S V G So moving to ATK we've got the all the packages uh, installed. So let's download it and extract it. This looks like it's just very basic installation and not even a test suite. 
Um, okay, it would help if I changed. Oh, I spelt the directory right actually. And, uh, build. Let's try that again. All done. sudo my c ninja install and that's finished. That's in chapter 25. You see we're flipping between chapter 25 which is the X libraries and chapter 10 which is the general graphics and font libraries. So this is ATK. Okay, so let's now tidy that up and move on to GNOME Themes Extra. And this now requires GTK 2 or 3, so we can't do that one yet. So high colour we can do. Let's grab that one. So very small package, very simple commands to install it. It's done. So that's in chapter 28. High colour icon themes. So GTK2. So it looks like we might need to um, build GTK2 um, and as it's got GNOME Themes Extra as an optional we'll have to build that afterwards because it requires GTK2 or 3. And then, because that's in place, go back and build GTK2. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Um, but before we do that, I have to... I think I'm going to reboot, because this is a bigger, slightly bigger package, and it's got a few dependencies. I'm going to reboot to make sure the libraries are in place and clean. Um, and then start the build. So I'm just going to make a note of what I'm going to do. GTK two then the what's that one called? Gnome themes then GTK two again. So I'm gonna shut this browser down here and shut down the GUI. Log out, reboot, and then build GTK2. Okay, so let's start with GTK2 Plus then. So, first of all, we can download it. Okay, we've already got it. 
So let's set into sources. VMFS, extract GTK, plus okay. So we can add the enable GTK doc config um, and run that we'll just see it will produce some output we can inspect Okay, it hasn't. I thought this one produced uh, like a summary and it hasn't done so. We'll just run make.
Okay, so that is built. Let's run the tests with them. Right, it does say that one test fails um, default values GDK picks buff. So, apart from that one test, um, which looks like it might have failed immediately. Let me try and run this with minus K, see if we'll carry on and do more testing. Right, it looks like it did actually finish. Okay, so now we can install the package. Okay, so it says um, that there's some configuration. Themes change the way GTK plus 2 application looks. The GTK plus 2 icon theme can be used to change the icons that appear in the application's toolbar. If you install the GTK plus 2 theme, such as Known Themes Extra, which is one we're going to install, or GTK Engines 2.20, so we can install that as an extra theme or GTK plus icon theme such as add way to icon themes I think that's one that's due to install yeah you can set your preferences in GTK RC 2.0 so as we haven't got anything installed at the moment this is something we'll do again when we reinstall GTK plus um, and it says here how to set it for a system wide um, settings and it says about LX appearance which I believe is part of don't really want to click on that if I can help it let's have this in a new window and search for LX appearance yes yeah, part of the LXD I did wonder if it was part of one of the desktops so that's something we can install and um, be able to pick them but in the meantime um, We've got these other themes that we can install. This is one we've just picked up. So that needs Lua. And that will work on its own. And Known Themes Extra needs either GTK plus 2 or plus 3. So uh, what does plus 3 need? quite a few extras okay so let's do this gnomes 3 themes extra first of all um, so let's tidy up and fetch this file Okay, so just run, I'm gonna run this configure to see if it actually says whether it needs to have GTK. Uh, right, it hasn't found GTK, so 
This really needs to be installed after GTK3 um, is installed to be of any use. So I'm going to hold that one at the side. And um, seems extra. Um, I'm going to install this Lua and the other GT engines theme as it only requires GTK plus two. And the patch here as well. And some tests. So let's extract the lure package. Okay, so we've got 5.3.5, .5, the test of 5.3.4, so I assume that's not an issue. 5.3.4, we've got 5.3.4. So some packages check for package config file for lure, which is created with this. So I need to create this package config file. Um, yeah, that looks like that goes in the current directory, so I don't need to be root. Install lower with these commands. So we can run a simple make test now. Okay. This will run the interpreter and print its version. Okay, so it's a basic test. More comprehensive tests can be formed if you downloaded this test suite table. Those tests need to be executed after the package is installed. Thus, we defer to the description below. Okay, so let's become root again. And it looks like we run these now. Right here we describe only the basic test on tile the tarball and change the lure 5.34 test directory. Okay, so let's extract it in here. Test and we execute this program here, this command. And we should see final OK, which we do. So that seems to be the test complete. Delete the cups. Occasionally forget to delete the directories. So every now and then I just check to see what I've left. I've left a lib there as well. Just to keep things tidy. So the disk space is going. Well, we've already used 25 gig of our 62 gigs. So we've only got 35 gig available. So that's quite a lot of disk space. A lot of that will be the documentation. Okay, so that's Lua. Let's install the GTK engine now. GTK engines. Uh, oh, let me mark these off my list. So uh, we've done GTK. And that's going to be reinstalled. And we've just done Lua. Uh, which will probably end up programming, I imagine. 
And that was 535. There's two versions here, so we've installed the newer version. And now we're doing GTK engines. So we've got Lua, so there's two options to add there to enable Lua and to tell the configure to use the system Lua that we've got rather than I assume an inbuilt one. So let's make sure this finds Lua, it seems to have done. Yep. So let's run make. Make check to test the package. Okay, looks like it's doing something to the um, windows. I thought that was something crashing then, but you can see there's a window that's appeared here in the corner. As the cursor changes over it. Well, this seems like it might have locked up. Um, so I'm going to do Control C on this. Run again. I don't know if it's because I moved the cursor over that window or not. So I'm just going to run it again. If it locks up again, then I won't bother carrying on with the tests. Yeah, it seems to have got locked up again, whether it's because um, GTK needs to be built with some themes. Um, specifically the GNOME themes one, I'm not sure. Uh, what I could actually do to prove that, if I abandon this again and tidy up. and build gnome themes with just support for gtk2 and then i'll have to add it to my list to rebuild so let me get my spreadsheet up again and add it So rebuild nine themes extra after GTK plus three. Okay, so time uh, next we have. So I'll have to copy this config again and put in disable the GTK3 engine. And make and cd minus e make install. OK, 
Okay. Uh, back into tools. So now we can tidy up. And <clears throat> I'll go back and reinstall GTK plus two now. Install it and set the same settings as did before. Do enable GTK dock. And now I can build it again.
Okay, so that's built again. So we test, test it again. And there's the same failure that's mentioned in the book. So we'll ignore that and just run make install. So that has installed. We can now create this GTKRC file. Um, it could be the fact this didn't exist is why those tests were uh, locking up. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out when we come to run them again. So let's see what the name of the themes are that we have. So we haven't got this clear looks one that's mentioned there, or the glider one. Um, there's a default one there, which might be worth looking at. GTK2 key. Let's have a look at the waiter one. There's one for GTK2 and 3 there. And the Rayleigh one, that's a GTK2 one. So I think what I might do is use the Rayleigh one as it's GTK2 only. So, uh, looks like that's the path we need to put into this script here. So we'll copy that part of it. Copy the path to this GTKRC file. Uh, put the quotes in. And then, oh, I don't know what the icon theme name is. We'll have to, I imagine, edit that file, view that file rather. And, all oh, right, okay, let's do that as root, of course. Let's take a quick look at this file. And see what names are in there. Oh, it just says this is the default theme, there's no other theme is selected, okay. Maybe that wasn't such a good, oh I see, the theme name. Default theme. Don't say that there's any names there. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Let's try the Emacs one. I'm not sure what the name part is actually. I can't see anything called name there. Let's try the Adwaiter one. Oh, what's this index theme? Oh, that was a binary file, okay. Okay, maybe that name is just a arbitrary freeform field. So, I'll go back to this Rayleigh one. Let's become the root and do this again as root. So, let's copy this again. Okay. 
include that pass there. I'll just give a name of default seam. see if that works or not. There doesn't seem to be any way to test it immediately from here. So that should be the configuration and that should be GTK2 reinstalled now. So I'll mark that off my list. Oh no it wasn't on the list was it? That's right. It was going to be installed pretty quickly which it has been Okay, so now I shall shut this down and we'll try this GTK engines again. So I'll bring back this config command, prefix equals user, enable lure with system lure. And we'll build it. And make a check and see if it hangs or not this time. If it does, all I'll be able to do is to just quit it and install it um, without knowing why it's hung. It does look like it's hung again actually. Um, I guess one I think I could try is, well, let's do the LD config, although I don't think this is going to, uh, so do I want to see LD config, I don't think this will do anything, um, the other thing I can try is to run the check with J1, force it in case it is trying to run it in parallel. No, that looks the same as before. Okay, I'm just uh, going to ignore that and um, install it. Um, don't know why that, that would be. Okay. So... Mark this off now. So it's GTK engines. Did I do GTK themes? I don't think I did that one. Gnome themes, wasn't it? Sorry, not GTK. Gnome themes. Um, I'll have to look that one up. I can't remember where that one came from. Oh, there it is there. I've got it in the tab. So, 
So that's in all right, icons, icons 28, 28. No icon themes extras. And we've just done GTK engines. Which is in libraries, GTK engines, yep, done that one. So that can go. So now we do that. Now I did notice the add waiter was there, but that might not have been the icons. Uh, might have been something else. So let's check. What we've got here. Optional Inkscape. I bet that's got a load of dependencies. It certainly has. So that's one I would install Inkscape, so I'm going to have to put that down as a rebuild on Advaita Icon Themes. GTK3. So GTK3 has got Advaita Icon Theme as a recommendation, and again, Advaita Icon Theme has got an optional dependency on GD GTK, so. This is going to have to be rebuilt once GTK3 is installed. So I'm going to have to add these to my list. Rebuild add waiter icon theme after GTK plus three and Escape. Okay, so let's um, download this. There's no fancy configuration or make, it's just straightforward configure make install on this one. And that's done. Okay. Because um, I'm going to rebuild this Edwaiter icon theme in quite soon, well before I'm going to rebuild Inkscape, I'm just going to make two entries on my rebuild list. Um, one for GTK3 and one for Inkscape, so I can mark off the fact that GTK3 has been done. Um, just so it won't confuse me. So I've got one saying reinstalled after GTK3 and one saying reinstalled on after in Inkscape. Right, so let's go back to GTK3. This looks like this needs some more. I'll oh, cursor again. Okay, looks like there's a load of other things here that we haven't installed yet. Um, 
80 SPI2. So we've got 80k. Oh, hang on, I haven't done my add weight icons. Add weight icons, same, so it's a reinstall. Um, so we'll need that one as well. Got Dbus, Glib, Xorg, Gobject, GTK Doc. So we can install this one next. So there's no extra configuration information here, so just copy this. And that looks like it's built. There's a test here. Um, I hope it will run and not lock up. It does say that a memory test will lock up. Uh, timeout, sorry, and looks like that's what's happened. Session passed on available vexel to unless to run the test. So test run memory test is known to time out. Yeah, there's definitely there's only two tests there by the looks of it. Yeah, okay, so I can't do anything further with that. So let's install the package. It's done. Okay, so this is in X libraries T SPI two core. Now we can install ATSPI two ATK. See SPI two ETK. Again, there's no extra information for configuring this in a different way, so we'll just configure and build it. Again, this needs a graphical session, so we've got that. This should run okay. And we test it and yes it has so we can do and install now and it's done at spr2 atk So that's that little branch we've got Fribbity. Yeah, we've done that one. GDK picks buff done. Oops. GDK picks buff, yeah. Libby Poxy we've done. Pango we've done. Headway to theme we've just done. High colour theme we've got. ISO codes. So that's one we need. LibXKP comma we've done. It might be in the XC directory, so let's check in there. Oh hang on, unless something behind there. LibXKB common. SASSC, I don't recognise that one. No. Wayland, we've got and protocols, I seem to remember they're due to be reinstalled, so 
Let's see if we're in any position to reinstall them at all at the moment. Let's search from my rebuild list. Right, Waylands needs to be reinstalled after Doxygen and Graphes, and Graphes we haven't got yet, so we're going to have to take them as they are and hope they're adequate. So let's deal with these um, two things here. So that hasn't got any dependencies, and nor does that one. Okay, that's nice and easy. So this has got two downloads. So let's extract the main file, which is called SASSC. And in the instructions it says to first build the library. There's no additional options. So we just copy and paste these. Okay, it's done, so now we can build it. It's done. And then it says now build the command line wrapper for the library. And we can install that. That's done. So SASSC is in chapter 10. SASSC, that's complete. Now we build this ISO codes. Extract it. So there's no other config options. Configure it and build it. And test it. So there's a note there about installing over a previous version, we're not doing that, so we'll just do the usual sudo minus e make install. And that's that package complete. So this was under chapter 11. ISO codes. So let's tidy up. And shut one down. Let's go back to GTK3, see what else we need. So so we've got the Wayland and Wayland protocols. Object introspection we've already done. Color D we've got. I think there was a rebuild for that as well. Let's check to see what state that's in. Might be a chance to rebuild it now. 
Okay, that was after optional packages, so that's obviously, well, I've probably got a few. Let's just have a look to see how many of these we've got. We've got most of them, actually. All right, GNOME Desktop. That's something we won't have yet. That's going to be a big one, so we, we'll ignore that. That's obviously going to be something done um, when I build GNOME. If I wasn't building GNOME, then I'd ignore that and just carry on with the rest of it, but that is my intention to build that. Um, cups we've done. That's also got a rebuild after optional packages, so that's going to be quite a big one. Uh, yeah, there's a few there, so I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. Poppy book utils, we've got GTK dot, we've got Jason Glib. Let's have a look at that one. So we've got the dependencies for that. That's good. Py atspi2. So that's for the test. This looks like a Python module. And it looks like we've got the dependencies for that. So that's fine. Rest i1. We've got make ca. Although that's got a rebuild for probably for Java. So that'd be fine. These are only runtime dependencies anyway, so that's okay. Um, Libsoup we haven't got. Okay, this has got a few dependencies. Uh, what was this? It's a requirement. Okay, so what we need to do is to build the required libraries here. Stop setting schema. PSL needs libidn. I'm not sure if we've done that one. Let's have a look. No, we haven't. Okay. Lib uni string we have. Libidn. Yeah, we've got that one, so that's okay. PSL lib soup. Recommended object introspection fella. So we need to reinstall lib soup for the optional packages, and some of them are big ones like Apache Kerberos. I'm not sure, I've never done that before, but it's one I intend to install. Samba's a, a proper application. So let's add that to the rebuild. List rebuild libsoup after Apache MIT Kerberos and Samba. Oh, PHP is there as well. That's a big package. So it could be that I have to rebuild that several times as I build each of them packages. That's a possibility. So libsoup, GTK, what else have we got? Okay, that was it for GTK. So all we need to do is go through these back to front to satisfy the dependencies. So these are the two we're going to rebuild after GTK3. So let's go to JSON glib and we can fire away with that one. So JSON glib Nothing fancy about this installation. Just copy and paste. We can test it. Looks fine. And install it. And that's done.
So this package is in chapter 9, Trim Libraries, and it's called JSON GLib. So that's complete. Now we've got a Python module called PYAT SPI2. AT SPI two AT SPI two. So this is for Python three. That's done, and we can install this. That's done. Just make a note that I've installed that one. PYAT SPI2 on Python 3. Now we've got G Settings Desktop Schemas. See, they're all tiny little libraries, they don't take long to download, and generally they don't take long to install either. G settings. So again, it's uh, just a predefined way of installing this, there's no real options, no test suite. So just install it now and it's done. So let's take a look where that one is in 33 GNOME libraries. G settings. These aren't in, in alphabetical order in this section, probably because they're in the order they need to be built in. Yeah, that's the second one in the list. So it's obviously part of the actual GNOME installation. So Glib networking. Let's just check we've got that GNU TLS actually. Yeah. And once again, it's a fairly boilerplate installation. Ninja test. All good. And Ninja install. And it's done. So that's in chapter 17 now. Networking libraries. Genius networking. LibIDN2. Got Git installed. Actually, we've got a. I've got a rebuild here to rebuild Git after Valgrind. So, arguably, that could be done now. Um, let me just take a look. Yes, I could 
rebuild that now. As I've got Falgrind installed. So I might do that. So look for get There it is there. Get rid of the highlights. Uh, looks like it's complete. So this is probably just to test this a bit more rather than adding any functionality, any further functionality. So let's build this. Is there any extra? Yes, there is some extras. Comfort commands we've got. Yeah, use this switch now using Python 3. Python is only used for the Git v4 interface. So let's add in Python 3, might as well. PCRE 2. Oh, now I'm not sure if we installed that. It's definitely one we will be installing. We haven't. PCRE. Oh, yes. Let's install PCRE2 now. I thought I'd done this one. PCRE2. PCRE. No, I haven't. That's unusual. I thought we'd done this one. It looks... This um, command line looks extremely familiar. Okay, let's do this now. Let's get it out of the way. It is one we will have to do for one of the packages later on. What's that? Okay. So file as right. So I'm going to come back out of this, remove that Git directory, just so I know where I am when I come to do Git again. Extract PCRE2. Um, let me just check these libraries because um, yeah, they're definitely not there. Funny, I must have looked at it and thought um, maybe it's actually is it due to be installed? No, it's not. Not here at all. Must have been a configure command very similar to this. So let's. Copy this and see what options we've got. So they're all options we want, and the enable JIP one is one that we need to add in. Okay, let's have a quick look at the results here so there's no debugging code, no SE Linux not building static libraries 
Look at it, we'll see how we got. Falcon support, no. Okay. Now that's strange, because yeah, it has got Valgrind there as an option. So let's put in help. Enable Valgrind, so we've got to add in Valgrind on the command line. Enable Valgrind. Let's see if that comes up with yeah, it's got that now. Okay. So this might not be supported in a way because it's not mentioned. Uh, oh, that's silly. I should have built it first. Let's start again. And bring that configured back. Yeah, because that enable Valgrind is not there, um, either it's been omitted by accident or it's not supported. But the fact that it says that Valgrind is an option without mentioning the package any further um, is a bit of an unknown quantity. So all we can do is build a package, test it and um, hope that there isn't any issues with it with using Valgrind. I wouldn't have thought so, Bing's. It's mentioned as an optional, although it could have been it was an option before and maybe something not quite right doesn't work, but looks like the tests have passed, so I'll carry on. Install it. Okay, it's done. PCRE2 is done. And that's in general libraries. PCRE2. Okay. So now we can go back to our Git. Put in this configure command again. And we wanted to add in with Python 3. And now we can say to use PCRE2. And it does say, as you see, with a non default JIT enabled. So we don't need to specify with loop PCRE. It's oops, it's deprecated anyway by the looks of it, it says there. So that looks like the configure command we need. We can now build it. So we've got ASCII docs, so we can make the HTML pages. That's okay, and now we should be able to make the main pages as well.
That's all good, we can run the test now. Okay, so that has 
tested. Um, complete success, there's no fouls, there's a few broken, so that's all good. So we can now install oops, the package. So if we created the main pages and docs, which we did, so we need to do this as the root user. And this command here for the HTML docs. So if we downloaded the main pages and all the HTML docs, miss those, reorganize text and HTML in the HTML docs, both methods. So for both methods, the HTML docs includes a lot of plain text files, reorganize the files as a root user. So let's just copy this in. And that's done. So I imagine if you wanted to use the Git as a server, there'd be a lot more configuration to do. But for our purposes, that's all we need to do. So that is Git completed. So let's mark that off. We don't need to install that one again. And we can go back to our compiling here, libidn. So let's save this. And extract it. We can add enable gtk doc to this config command to build some documentation. Okay, so it says we're building documentation, shared libraries. And it hasn't found Valgrind again, so whether that's something we can add in, it's not mentioned as an optional, but we can put in a help after this. Enable Valgrind test, so we could try that. So trust run self test under Valgrind. Now whether or not they work or not is another thing. So yeah, it's got Valgrind now. So let's run make. And make check.
So it looks like this might have locked up. So maybe that's why the Valgrin's not mentioned. Um, what I can try to do is to um, go here. It's from top. I know it is running something one one processor. So uh, yeah, okay. Give it a chance. It was actually running something. So that's okay. Well, at least they passed, so we can just run sudo make install. And that's done. So this is in general libraries. Lib IDN two. Now I've got one called libpsl, again uses Valgrind for tests. So no extra configuration options, just copy and paste. Um, actually, it didn't specify anything about Valgrind there, so uh, libpsl. Let's start this again. And let's do this a bit at a time. So let's do the set first of all. Now let's run the configure and look for Valgrind. Yeah, so let's configure it with that option. Enabled again. So let's examine this. No docs, no man pages. So again, it's got GTK doc here, but it doesn't say about the options to enable that. So let's run the help looking for anything about documentation. So you can see we've got Several options here. Use GTK doc to build documentation. So by default builds documenta documentation HTML, but there's also a PDF format. Now whether these, I'm going to add these in anyway, just in case. Whether the PDF option needs a tool we haven't got We'll find out. So it's not going to build man pages like that. Let's see what it says about man pages. Generate the man pages default equals auto. So yeah, don't know. Maybe it's found something that it or hasn't found something that it needs. So I'm not going to do anything else with that. I'll just run make now. Okay, so the PDF bit has failed, so it obviously needs something else. So I'll we'll have to leave this GTK doc bit off. So let's start once again. Let's 
run the set command in again first. Remove that PDF generator option and let's try rebuilding again. Okay, still failing. Looks like it's building failing the HTML, which is interesting. So I'm going to clear this out again. Normally you can do make clean, but um, just to be sure, I always like starting from scratch. So once again, let's do the sad. Remove that option now. And if it fails this time with the HTML, we'll have to. Yeah, it has done. Gonna have to change that to stop it building. So that's the set command. Here's the config command. So we'll have to put in. Uh, was it disable? Yeah. Let's just see if we can change this to disable. Okay. So. It has doesn't look like it's built any documentation actually. Oh yes it has docs lives PSL. So let's run make check now. I'll just monitor this in the background again. Oh, there it goes. It's it's it is going. Okay, they tested fine. So let's now install this. And that's done. So that is in section 17, the PSL. So now we come to LibSoap, so we should have all of these requirements and recommended installed, which we have. I've got a note in my rebuild list to rebuild LibSoup after the major applications have been installed. So let's download this now. So we've got some extra options here. So let's do the build directory first as usual. Copy the configure, the, com the meson command in. Don't forget those two dots, very important. And we've got DV API disabled users if you're not installed Valor. We have ddoc equals enabled user option if you want to build the documentation. You must have gtk doc installed. So we have, we want that. Let's put that in. DGSS API libsuit defaults to building with GSS API support which requires Kerberos as does the test suite. If you're building nowhere of Kerberos installed, remove this switch. So at the moment um, we won't have that installed. 
Um, so when we reinstall LibSoup, either when we uh, start building GNOME or we've built Kerberos, then um, we'll have to leave that in. Uh, sorry, we'll have to leave it at the moment. We'll have to remove that switch, sorry, as it says there. So I'll just leave the options as they are. So we've got DVPI enabled because we've got that and we want it. Um, and we are building GNOME at some time. We'll leave this GSS API disabled because we haven't got GNOME at the moment and we haven't got Kerberos installed. So I imagine that library is not installed and we want the documentation. So we'll go with that. Okay, it looks okay. Ninja to build it. It says testing the two tests fail. Okay, what have we got here? Yeah, there's two failures, HSTS failures. So that says the book reports, so that's fine. Uh, so now we can just install this. And let's complete. So lip soup. Uh, it's got to be reinstalled. Get rid of it for now and then move on to this rest. So we've got make CO libsuit object gtk doc save link as extract it. So we need to copy the config command. Add in the enable GTK doc Ooh, the space and configure it. Looks good and build it now. Okay, and we can do make check to test it. It says a flicker test will fail due to public API changes on the site. OAuth test will fail because the website that it uses to test connectivity via OAuth no longer exists. Okay, yeah, we've got those two failures. So now we can make install and rest is complete. Oops. So mark that one off. <coughs> and now we should be in a position to build GTK3 with complete hierarchy of dependencies fulfilled. So have I got this downloaded? No. So let's do that and while we're doing that there's something to read there. If 
if you're upgrading from a version of GTK plus 3 prior to 3.24.9 you must remove the LA files you must run the remove LA file script after installing GTK plus well I haven't run it for a little while after installing quite a few packages so I'm going to run that now in fact I'll become the root and run it and I'm also just going to run the LD config to load the library cache into the cache again but we've got to remember to run the libtool archive removal tool again afterwards as it says in that caution box so let's go for GTK plus version 3 See what the extra options we've got a few extra options here. So let's build the build directory or we'll make the build directory rather. And copy this meson configure command and see what other options we've got. So Broadway backend true enables HTML5 D color D as color support and printing back end so let's add that in oh sorry it's already there right okay dman equals true to generate manual pages and dgtk dot is false right okay so I need to actually bought this and change that to true So I want true there, and I can paste the rest of this in. And now run Ninja to build it. I don't think this takes too long, does it? No, a few minutes. <coughs>
Okay, so that is finished building. Um, there's a note here about the testing. Some tests fail if the user shared glib2 schemas. G schemas compiled is not found. Um, if you want to run the test suite to update, create or update the file using the following commands as root you to glib, compile schemas, etc. So let's do that. So do minus E glib compile schemas user share glib schemas so let's do that there it seems to run to test results you need a graphical session then issue ninja test six tests are known to fail in the A11Y suite so let's time this ok it's popped up a window so I'm just going to place that. It's gone. Oh no, it's up here. I can just see, I think. Oh no, we've got another little window. And another one. So it looks like it keeps on creating new windows. So I'm just going to keep on clicking these. Well, there's quite a few here. They are being closed down, that's good. There's another one. So you can see each one of these as they appear. You have to click to place the window in an ordinary, ordinary um, desktop environment. Or, well, yeah, ordinary desktop environment. Um, these windows will just appear and disappear. But the way TWM works, you have to click to where you want to place the window when it appears. So we did get a couple of errors there, as we saw. They were with the A11Y component I'm not sure if we can, yes we can a couple of ref test oh unexpected pass okay and there's one there quit the one that I fail <coughs> unexpected pass another fail there now whether that's anything to do with the fact that yeah there's those six failures that I mentioned that we were having to click because there is a one on there about button wrapping. Uh, could have been where I was placing the windows, possibly. Um, so don't really know because we're such a basic windowing environment. It's um, hard to tell really. So let's install that.
Okay, so that has installed. Took a little while there at one point. Wondered if it locked up. Um, now there's a bit of configuration here. I suppose we could do this to set a default for the system. Although the demonstration is for um, a user setting. So let's see what we've got. Let's become Have a look at <coughs> etc gtk 3.0 right so this file's not here at the moment so let's create it settings.ini oops VIP. insert and I'll just copy these default settings here I assume it will be in the same format. Um, looks like fire recognizes the format. It's color coded everything. So there's no real way of testing this until we can get some GTK applications running. I don't think we've got anything like that at the moment. But that should be GTK installed. Yeah, there's no reason to reinstall this. So let's mark that off. Chapter 25. GTK 3. RMRF GTK plus dash 3. Okay, so now we can reinstall these two. Um, Name Themes Extra and the Add Waiter icons. So let's start with Gnome Themes Extra. So we don't need to put these disable commands in anymore, we can just run package as it is. It shouldn't complain this time. It hasn't. No test suite. Sudo might see make install. Okay, so that's complete. Them things extra. I've marked it off my rebuild list. So I now can do the add way to icon theme. So this will be reinstalled after Inkscape. Okay, that was very quick. There's nothing there indicating what version of GTK it's using found even but that's not a problem oh one thing we didn't do is run that just remember that removal command for the LA files so let's do that before we carry on anymore okay so now we can install this
Okay, so that's installed. Let's tidy up. And mark it off the list to rebuild. And get rid of that. So now we're back to Ghost Script. So we've got cups, font config we've got, free type we've got, I'm just going to check these actually, free type, font configs there, the JPEG Turbo, PNG, TIFF, little CMS, open JPEG we've got, we've got Cairo, we've now got GTK3, we need to install LibIDN, we installed LibIDN2 before, but this needs the earlier version by the looks of it. So, libidn. Let's just see what that general library is. Right. Oh yes, so it is okay. Yep, it's different package. So this has got an option. We've done PTH. Let's check that one. Yep, Emacs we've done. GDK doc we've got. So open GDK, JDK. Sorry. <coughs> um, we won't be doing that just yet. So I need to add. The in as a rebuild to my list. So rebuild lib idn after open jdk apart from that we can install it now. So let's get this libidn So configure we can enable GTK doc for documentation. Because we've got GTK doc installed. Okay, there's a little summary there. There's no Java because we've installed it. So we can just run make now. And now make check. That's all passed, we can install the package. And that's done. So I'll mark that off. And it's to be rebuilt. So we're back to go script. else do we need? Uh, what him lip paper we've got? Yep. Little CMS. Yep. 
not to use by default, nor if LCMS is present or found. Okay, so that looks like we don't need that because we've got LCMS 2, so it's not going to use the earlier version. So I think we can reinstall GoScript now. Um, let me just check to see what on my rebuild list what packages we're relying on this. Oh, I thought there was some, there isn't any. I've just got a note to rebuild GoScript after the optional packages, so I guess it may be something like, oh yes, it's graph is by the looks of it. Um, we've got git here. Now that has been fulfilled, isn't it? We've done that one, so I can get rid of that. That's here for Falgrind, I think. Python, that's waiting for Blue Z. Blues font config, that's probably for text live. And that's part of text live, so yeah, let's rebuild Go Script now. Still the recommended pences, yeah we've done this so we can remove them. And we can remove this Zlib directory as well. So now we've got this configure command, let's see if there's anything else we can add to this. No, there's nothing else there. Uh, let me just check my list again. Tiff. Right, yeah, that's fully installed. Disable cups. Yeah, we've got cups, so... That should be okay. So let's build it. The shared library depends on GTK3 and it's only used by external programs like Asymptote 2.62, DVIS, VGM, and Image Magic, and Text Live. Okay. So we'll build that now that we've got GTK3 installed. Okay, so let's become the root to install it. And we want the shared library as well. And we have to move around some of the documentation. We have the fonts as well. Now 
And finally, I'll do this as a usual, uh, normal user. We can just test to see if we've got that tiger picture still appears. And there it is. So that's fine. So the main thing we got out of that was linking to GTK 3 to enable the shared library. So that's under chapter 46 printing. Go script, mark that off my to build, or to rather to rebuild list. Find it. It's somewhere here, I'm going to have to search for it, I'm afraid. There it is. And I'll tidy up. Okay, so the next thing I think we need to look at is these packages here, maybe. Um, these are, this is probably being rebuilt with text live. Um, Python's probably writing on blues. Um, this should be my build actually. Build list. In fact, I'm not going to go down through the build list see if there's anything that can be updated. Um, anything that's important. I've got quite a few needing FOP. Uh, let's have a quick look at that one. Oh yes, so this one's waiting, Apache Ant which is effectively Java. So Java might be one to install soon. Okay. Looks like there's oh there's one here we can do picks men that had a um, dependency on GTK two so let's have a look at that one. Yeah, I think this one would be a good one to do next. I can knock one off then on the to do build list. And that 
it's quite too straightforward to build. So let's test it. Okay, and let's install it. So that's done. Get rid of that one and mark it as complete on my to-do list. Let's just have a look at the rest of the packages I've got here. Okay, there's maybe one or two I could do now, but I think I might leave them just a little bit longer. Oh, actually, there is, yeah, there is a couple here I can do. Relied on ICU, which I've rebuilt. Um, it's Boost and Valgrind, actually. And it looks like it's to run extended tests, so just to run a few more tests on them. So no real benefit to the system other than a confidence check for for the two packages. So let's look at boost first of all. That doesn't need foul grind. Let's have a look at foul grind. That needs boost, so it'd be best to do boost first, which is probably why I've got it in above Falgrin. So let's just check. We've got this blind utilities, I'm pretty sure we did this. What's it called? Just bind. Okay, don't install this one. I thought we'd install this, obviously not, so let's good job to check that. Boost we've got, GDB we've got, the rest we've got. So let's do boost first.
Okay, so let's go into the directory. There's no modifications to this. These commands, we just take the default, but we need to change the number of jobs to four or the number of processes you've got. So that has built. Uh, we can run the tests and regression tests here. With these commands. And it looks like they're not connected together to run. Oh, it probably doesn't matter actually. Um, I meant to run them um, based on the success of the previous command, but all we're doing is pushing the directory and popping it back, so it probably doesn't really matter that much. But let's run it anyway.
Okay, so that has passed. 152 tests, as it says in the book. So we should be able to uh, run some more tests here. Um, let's just read what it says. Yeah, um, it says a few may fail, that's to run every regression test, it may take a while, so we're doing this for the extended test. So, um, part of the reason why we're reinstalling this, so let's do this, put minus J4 as it suggests and see how long this takes let's do the time here oh it didn't pop pop D stack empty
Okay, so that is finished compiling. Now I did think it might not complete because of the lack of disk space. Um, it doesn't seem to have failed for that. Uh, let's just scroll back. Oh, it has done. Yeah, no space left on drive. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. I, I didn't realise before I'd run. Um, and once I'd realised, it had been, what, over an hour. So I thought I might as well leave it. It's probably got very close to getting to the end. Um, so although it says 100% use, there's um, a default, I think, of 5% reserved for the root users, so we should still be able to install this, and in any case it will mostly be overwriting existing files. So, let's become the root user. And install version Yeah, so that's installed successfully. Even though if I still do a df minus h, it still says 100%. It's the root that's using its reserve to install that. So that is boost reinstalled. So I can mark that off on my list. It's in the general libraries. Boost joint libraries, yeah. Okay, so I can get a shot of that one. And now I'm going to install bind utilities. So, as I think I said before, um, bind is used for DNS resolution, don't need to complete package to run the server. So, there's this separate package with just a few utilities in it. So now let's come out of this and clear up boost. Okay, there's some root stuff there. Yeah, so there's actually only 34 gigabytes available, unfortunately. So let's expand this bind. Okay, it's still not finding it. Um, see, now I thought I had downloaded this before. No, he's not there. Host is not there. No, it's definitely not there. So why is it not? Finding, uh, downloading this. So I think as. I saved it last time. So there's no additional config, we we'll just run this as it is. Build appropriate tools.
okay it's done so we can install it uh, we just come on here and that's it okay so I'll mark that one off. <clears throat> 